This is the free motion quilting tutorial for Deco Planks. This design is being sponsored by the Isochord Polyester Thread Set. Get 12 beautiful colors of Isochord thread, my favorite thread for free motion quilting, at the Day Style Designs Quilt Shop. That's at daystyledesigns.com. Now let's get back to Deco Planks. To quilt this design, you're first going to start with a long rectangular shape working from the edge to the center of your quilting space. Then you're going to go inside of this rectangle and fill it with these triangle shapes. The inspiration for this design was Art Deco architecture and the really interesting kind of uh, herringbone designs and um, wood paneling, uh, all that kind of stuff just really intrigues me. And when I thought about it, I really started wondering, well, can we combine that with free motion quilting? Can we take some of those elements and put those in our quilts? And the answer is, of course, you can. Um, this is actually just simply a combination of monster teeth, which was yesterday's design, and it's just simply taking that one design and adding one element to it, just simply filling it with those triangle shapes. It creates an entirely different design and of course this is going to stand out a lot darker on the surface of your quilt than just having the rectangles empty. It does require a little bit more time. You can see how this is fairly time consuming putting this uh, filling each and every single rectangle. And you know, you could save time by maybe widening the distance between your triangle shapes. Um, you want to be careful not to let the triangles get too long because they can get a little unwieldy. They can get, you know, once your lines start getting wiggly and wobbly, then it doesn't look as good. So just be careful of that as you stitch this. Now we're going to fast forward just a bit along the design. I want you to see how this design matches up with the opposite side. So you're going to fill one whole side first with rectangles and fill those rectangles with triangles. And then you're going to travel stitch or break your thread and move to the opposite side and simply fill in with more rectangles and triangles within on the opposite side, matching it up so that they fit together perfectly. And you can see what a beautiful texture this creates on the surface of your quilt. It really is beautiful. And it's one of those things where it creates a nice um, straight line and sharp angled, very graphic texture. So it's going to be something that matches up well in kind of the open, uncomplicated areas of your quilt, maybe sashing or borders. It's going to look great if you put it on something where it can really stand out and show off. Um, I can't wait to try this in the border of maybe a black border and stitch it with white thread just to experience and, and experiment with the contrast of color and fabric. So it's a lot of fun, definitely something to play with in your next quilt. And here's what it looks like whenever you finish Deco Planks. For over 250 videos on free motion quilting, including Monster Teeth, another design from the Free Motion Quilting Project, check out daystyledesigns.com or freemotionquilt.com.